hi guys, let's now go into 3.3. Okay, it's still the same scenario with Ottomans and the upholsterer. And let's see what the next question is about. So it says, John asked the upholsterer to use synthetic leather to cover each of the Ottomans. The upholsterer uses large sheets of synthetic leather, which he then cuts into smaller pieces to fit the top of each Ottoman. Okay. Alibaba.com is an online store that sells sheets of synthetic leather with a width of W, right, of 60 inches and a length of L, represented by L, of 5 meters. So we know automatically, before we've even looked at questions, we have something in inches and something in meters. We're probably going to have to do some conversions. So we should be thinking that at the front of our mind, okay? And they've drawn us a little diagram here. So they've given us the length in meters, which is 5 meters, and they've converted our inches here, right, the 60 inches, into centimeters for us, right? So this 60 inches is width, and they've converted it into centimeters for us. So they've actually given us a conversion, okay? The first question says, use the above information to answer the questions that follow. So it says, given that 60 inches equals 53.6 centimeters, we know that, we just saw that, complete one inch to how many centimeters? Okay, so this is basically simplifying a ratio. So let's write this down, 3.3.1. So we know that 60 inches equals 153.6 centimeters. Now we want to make this one inch, okay? So what did we do to this side to get from 60 to one? We divided that side by 60. What do we, what we do to the one side? We have to do to the other. So to get the equivalent in centimeters, right, you divide it by 60. So one inch is 2.56 centimeters. Okay, so it's very important that you see this as a ratio. It's similar to like an exchange rate. It's just showing different measurements, right, and how they're related to each other. Okay, let's now go to the next question. Okay. It says, calculate in centimeters. Important, right? They're telling us how they want it. The perimeter of one large sheet of one large sheet of synthetic leather, you may use the following formula. Okay, so it wants the perimeter. Okay, what does the perimeter mean, guys? It means that if I stand here and I'm an ant and I walk the whole way along the sheet and end back where I started, how far have I walked, right? So, it would be this width plus that length plus this width plus that length. And that's why we just say 2 times length plus width. Because we walk 2 widths and 2 lengths. Okay. So, we know that perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. That's what they've given us. But we need to make sure that length and width are in the same measurement. Okay. So, they've asked us to do it in centimeters. That's fine because we have the width in centimeters. But... We don't have the five meters in centimeters, so we need to convert that, right? So our length is actually 500 centimeters plus 153.6 centimeters. You don't have to write in the centimeters if you don't want to. I'm just writing it for you so that you know that I've converted everything into centimeters. So my answer is going to be in centimeters. Let's put this into our calculator. Um, and make sure that we have done this correctly. Remember, the biggest thing here is to make sure that you have put it into your calculator correctly. Okay, so our answer is 1307.2 centimeters. That is the perimeter of one sheet. Okay, let's check we've answered the question. We have answered, and that's the end of that question. We'll now move on to question four.